Hello, I'm Joey. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to calibrate this image. Now, we shot this image in RAW, so all that we'll be doing is treating the RAW file in the camera RAW. Yeah, so first of all, you change the profile to Adobe Standard here. Uh, I shot the picture in camera faithful, but I see the Adobe Standard to work very well for me when I bring it to camera RAW. Now we will do the basic adjustment. I'm okay with the temperature and things, so we move on to the exposure contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Yeah, so we will reduce the highlights a bit. So I think it's okay here. That a bit. Now we will push the shadows up just to open up some of the shadows. Then we bring in the white, just bring in more of the light. Now we add more black to it. So let's see before and after. I will reduce the exposure small, just small, like 10. Yeah. Then we move on to the dehaze. I will add the dehaze. Then I'll add vibrance like 20. Okay. See before, after. Okay. So we push the highlights back up a bit. We open up the shadows a bit. Light up. Okay. So we move on to the curve. So we are going to do a little S curve here. So push the shadows down a bit. We'll bring in the highlights. Let's see the before and after. This is before and after. That is for the curve, the S curve. So we will push some blues into the shadows and the highlight. So let's push some blues. You see. So we push some blues into the shadows and the highlight. So that is for the shadows and then small the highlights. Just to reduce the yellows in the image. Yeah. So let's see the before and after. Yeah. So we move on to the detail. That is where we are applying sharpness. And I'm okay with the sharpness. Uh, okay. So I will mask the sharpness onto the model, but only the body of the model. So we hold Alt, then shift the slider of the masking. So we see that more of the details is on there. Models, body, or the face, then we leave it. So that is it. If you want more sharpness, you can just increase it here, like 40, 45. Then you can add more sharpness. But this is okay for me. Now we move on to the color mixer. That is the HSL. So the HSL, I'll be starting with the red and oranges. So I will choose the saturation of the oranges. We can use the saturation of the red too. And then I'll push more light into the oranges and reds just to bring out just to bring out the oranges and reds. Yeah. And I'll change the hue to the hue and the uh, saturation. I'll come back to the saturation again. So let's start with the hue. So, minus one is okay. And then minus one. Sorry, zero. I think zero will work for us. Yeah. We don't want to make it to look red. Let's use 
it's okay. So just let me adjust my it. Yeah. Bring it like this. Then we go to color grading. Yeah, it's just like using the color balance. Yeah, the color balance adjustment. Yeah, it's just like that one position. It's similar, but not the same. Yeah, it's similar, but not the same. So we push in blues into the shadows as we did. Yeah. So yeah, it's okay then. Yeah, then just a little blues to into the highlights. Okay. So let's go and after. Okay. So let's push the blend up a bit. Now we will come to the calibration. Today we are not going to use much of the calibration here, so we just pushing the saturation of the greens a bit. Then saturation, saturation of the blue primary. And then we shift the hue. Minus five to be okay. Minus three. And minus one. Let's take this back to five. And then let's use the saturation of the rest to three. And let's push the hue to one. Okay, so we have done. Let's see the before and after. This is before, and this is the after. Let's do it this way. This side is the before, and after. This is the before, and this is the after. So you can see the change in the this. If we use the yellows, added in more blues and a little bit of red. So in our next episode, we will learn about how to retouch this image and color grade the skin tones and do a little adjustment. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button to see the notification whenever I post a new video. Watch out for the next episode. Thank you.